Are you wondering whether you should dive into the world of investments right now or hold off for a potential market shakeup in 2023? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to unveil key factors and indicators that will help you make an informed decision about your investments. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just getting started, this information is crucial. But before we dive in, don't forget to show some love by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing that notification bell. You won't want to miss any of our insights. Okay, let's get started. Investment Timing Should you invest now or wait for a stock market downturn? When deciding whether to invest in the current market conditions or hold off for a potential downturn, several critical indicators should guide your decision. Let's delve into each indicator's significance. Number 1. Inflation and Wage Growth Understanding the dynamics of inflation and wage growth is crucial in determining your investment strategy. Inflation, representing the rise in the cost of goods and services, has experienced fluctuations in recent years. It's important to recognize that inflation isn't inherently negative. It can signify a healthy, growing economy. However, if inflation spikes uncontrollably, it can erode the purchasing power of consumers and create uncertainty in the market. On the other hand, wage growth reflects the increase in earnings for the average worker. When wages rise, consumers generally have more disposable income, which can fuel spending and economic growth. The recent wage growth trends indicate a positive outlook, with figures remaining robust compared to historical averages. This suggests that consumers have the capacity to absorb higher prices caused by inflation, making it conducive to investing at present. Number 2. Interest Rate Hikes The Federal Reserve's decision to raise interest rates is a powerful tool used to manage the economy. When the economy is overheating and inflation becomes a concern, the central bank may opt for rate hikes to cool things down. However, this tightening of monetary policy can have consequences. Higher interest rates increase the cost of borrowing for individuals and businesses, potentially leading to reduced spending and investment. Moreover, it can impact the housing market, causing mortgage rates to rise. This has the potential to discourage new home buyers and affect existing homeowners with adjustable rate mortgages. Consequently, higher interest rates can put downward pressure on economic growth. Thus, investors may choose to adopt a cautious approach in anticipation of potential economic headwinds. Number 3. Housing Market Trends Examining housing market trends provides valuable insights into consumer sentiment and economic stability. The resilience of housing prices in the face of interest rate increases suggests underlying strength. While higher rates typically suppress housing activity, the fact that prices have held steady implies continued demand. Additionally, the new construction sector's performance indicates the industry's ability to weather challenges. Although there have been some recent pullbacks, they haven't been as severe as expected, given the high interest rate environment. This resilience may signify that the housing market could remain relatively stable, making it a favorable consideration for investors. Number 4. Unemployment Unemployment is often regarded as one of the most critical economic indicators. Low unemployment rates are indicative of a strong job market, which in turn can stimulate consumer spending and contribute to overall economic growth. When more people are employed, there is greater consumer confidence, and individuals tend to have more disposable income. It's worth noting that various metrics are used to assess unemployment, including the U3 and U6 rates. Regardless of the specific metric, the consensus is that unemployment is currently at low levels relative to historical standards. This suggests a healthy labor market and a strong argument for investing now as robust employment figures generally bode well for the broader economy. Before we continue, if you're finding this information valuable, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We appreciate your support, and it helps us keep bringing you more content like this. Now, let's dive back into our discussion. Number 5. Household Debt 
Evaluating household debt is essential in gauging the overall financial health of households and its potential impact on the economy. When assessing this indicator, it's crucial to consider both the percentage of debt relative to GDP and the absolute dollar amount of debt owed. While the total debt amount may seem substantial, understanding its relative scale to the economy is essential. A declining ratio of debt to GDP implies that economic growth is outpacing the accumulation of debt, which is generally seen as a positive sign. However, this metric doesn't provide a complete picture. When looking at the absolute dollar amount of debt, such as credit card debt, it has recently crossed the trillion dollar mark. While this may appear alarming, it's important to remember that over time, as the economy grows and inflation occurs, these numbers will naturally increase. So, interpreting this indicator is somewhat nuanced. Therefore, classifying the household debt indicator is challenging. It's neither categorically bullish nor bearish. It suggests that while there is reason for vigilance regarding increasing debt levels, the overall context, including economic growth and inflation, should be considered in any investment decision. Number 6. Manufacturing Sector The performance of the manufacturing sector can provide valuable insights into the overall state of the economy. The ISM Manufacturing Index, which measures manufacturing activity, is a key gauge to watch. A reading above 50 indicates growth, while a reading below 50 suggests contraction. Currently, the manufacturing sector is showing signs of negative growth, with the ISM index below the critical 50 mark. This downturn can have significant ripple effects throughout the economy. A struggling manufacturing sector can lead to reduced production, job losses, and decreased consumer spending. An economic slowdown in the manufacturing sector may signal potential headwinds for investors. This situation is likely to weigh on overall economic growth, making it prudent for investors to exercise caution and consider how this may impact their portfolios. Number 7. Consumer Confidence Consumer confidence is a pivotal driver of economic activity. It reflects consumers' perceptions of the overall health of the economy and their own financial well-being. When consumers are confident, they are more likely to spend, invest, and take on debt, which drives economic growth. However, the current state of consumer confidence appears somewhat subdued. While there have been recent improvements, confidence levels remain relatively low compared to historical averages. This suggests that consumers may be cautious about their financial prospects, potentially leading to reduced spending. Low consumer confidence can have a cascading effect on various sectors of the economy, including retail, hospitality, and manufacturing. Therefore, when considering investment decisions, it's essential to recognize the potential impact of cautious consumer behavior on the broader economy and specific industries. Number 8. Treasury Yield Curve The shape of the Treasury Yield Curve is closely monitored by investors and economists as it can provide valuable signals about the economy's future direction. A normal yield curve slopes upward, meaning long-term interest rates are higher than short-term rates. Conversely, an inverted yield curve, where short-term rates exceed long-term rates, is often considered a precursor to economic downturns. Currently, the yield curve is inverted, which is a significant concern. Historically, an inverted yield curve has been followed by recessions. This occurs because long-term investors expect weaker economic conditions in the future, leading them to accept lower yields on longer-term bonds. An inverted yield curve can impact various investment decisions. Investors may consider shifting their portfolios toward more defensive assets or taking a more cautious stance. It's crucial to monitor how central banks respond to this inversion and how it may influence market sentiment. In summary, the decision is not clear-cut and it involves weighing various indicators. While some indicators, like unemployment and housing market trends, suggest investing now, others, such as interest rate hikes and an inverted yield curve, recommend a more cautious approach. Therefore, the overall consensus appears to lean towards a more conservative investment strategy. Investors should carefully assess their risk tolerance and financial goals, 
when making this decision and consider a diversified portfolio that aligns with their long-term objectives. And that concludes our discussion whether you should invest now or wait for the market to crash this 2023. Now, it's your turn to chime in. In this roller coaster of financial indicators, would you take the plunge and invest now? Or do you prefer to wait for the market to show its cards? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more informative content. Thanks for watching and we look forward to your insights.